Hello, Josh, Sam, and anyone else who's watching. Uh, welcome back to Swin. Don't you forget about me. Now, it's been a whole night. I went to sleep in between uh, the last video and this one, and I'm feeling a little groggy because I just woke up and I have to do this before work. So, let's crack on. We're about to play Tottenham, and then we're going to play Inter in the second leg of our Champions League uh, semi-final. So, we're going to do a little bit of a rotation because we want to make sure that our boys in red are fit for the uh, game in in uh, well it's in it's, it's in England but still <laughs> um, we're going to so Machisek can't play in that game because he's suspended um, uh, let's have a look we can we can at least bring back in where is he. You know, Yarlim is still not fit, but we'll bring in Matovic uh, for the league game. Uh, and otherwise, I think that's pretty good. I think we'll leave it as we are. We can't really do much about Warn there uh, without upsetting the back four, and I don't really want to do that. Interesting little uh, wing back system that they're using at Spurs. Um, go out there and impress me. Something's happening in the house. I don't know what that was. Not Masha, so it's probably an axe murderer. I'm probably going to be dead by the end of this video. I'm also not wearing my glasses, so if I misread something or miss something entirely, it's because <laughs> it's because I can't see it. <laughs> um, but I can mostly see what's going on, so I think that's fine. Uh, excuse me again. And I mentioned yesterday uh, that I don't sniff, uh, although right now I'm feeling a little uh, coldy so I'm wondering if I'm actually coming down with a cold I'm not sure how I could have possibly got one but it's a possibility I've taken a anti-allergy pill to stop any sniffage uh, caused by allergies he was surely offside and he was good maybe the morning earlier on in the season for a uh, morale boosting win um, which sort of set us on this run of some ridiculous amount of games there's something like 15 games unbeaten um, which we're still technically on because we didn't lose to Man United oh that's dodgy from Musson and, and then Matovic manages to score an own goal well we're doing all our best things to uh, throw this uh, unbeaten run away At one point, we were something like 15 points clear at the top of the Premier League. It's absolutely ridiculous. I mean, we're still 12 points, I think. Kenny Warren hits it into Dvorak. I know what that noise is now. It's the door shutting in the breeze. Martins crosses. McBride. See, McBride, what are you doing, man? Just head it down. How do you not score that? Warren has given them an injury. Lukovic. Did Lukovic... Did Luke did Lukovic come on? Or can't go off then. I don't know. Svenk, Del Canto. I wanted to sign Del Canto this summer, but I didn't have all the money for every player I wanted. Um, so, uh, this is a downbeat, low energy uh, chat so far. My brain hasn't quite clicked into gear. I'm drinking water, as I am wont to do. Rosenzweig, Shavo hits over the bar. I've decided to stop drinking coffee. One of the many things that I've decided to stop doing. <laughs> anyway, Lukovic. Lukovic gives... Oh, Paez. There was no need there at all. He's going to get sent off as well. Oh, he's not. Okay, all right. He's survived. Well, I suppose that's good. But yeah, there was absolutely no need for that. So Kanto heads over the bar. Musson now. I'd argue Musson was more at fault for the uh, goal that we conceded than uh, Matovic, even though Matovic, his name goes on the score sheet. <laughs> Shabo hits it into the part side netting. I haven't looked very good in this game, looked a bit disjointed, possibly because I made some changes, although I didn't make that many changes. Uh, Paez to Machasek. Shabo, Patrick, Patrick. I'm really not sure what Patrick's thing is. Like he he doesn't seem to be consistently good at all. It's very annoying. Um, and then occasionally he has games like he did against Leon. Show me something else. Calm. You weren't that bad. 
calm. You weren't that bad. Patrick's playing badly, of course he is. And apparently Peter McBride's also playing badly. Those two at the back are not doing well discipline-wise either. Oh, typical. Typical Swindon. Matovic. On the complete wrong side to be taking that throw in. Yeah, see, that that's exactly the kind of thing I was mentioning the other day. He takes the throw in here for some reason, then cr crosses over and ends up being the one that gets a shot away because of the way that we work the ball. But... Good save from Musson. Rosenzweig. Paez. Nothing doing. All right, let's make some changes. Patrick and Millie not doing well. Cosmin to Farkash. Let's do that. And let's bring on Serapio from McBride. Changes all down the middle there. Okay. Match set to Reggiano. Ah, oh, Dvorak saves. I'd like to keep our unbeaten run intact for a little longer. Come on. Martins to Payas. Payas to Martins. Oh, Gen 1 here. So throw in. Go on then. Game. Dear, you throw in. 72 minutes gone. That was a long period of nothing happening. Uh, Millie. Oh, goes for the cross but wins a corner. Okay. Ball put in but Fuentes clears. Matovic gives it back out to Martins. Now Martins. Ah, oh, come on. It doesn't really matter. We've already won the league but still it's frustrating if it's rubbish. If things are rubbish. Martins. And again, cleared. Oh. Uh. We've had an injury to Kappa. Uh, that's not good, that's not good, that's not what we want. Not before. Come on, I only brought him on for 20 minutes at the end. Or 30 minutes at the end. You can't get a bloody injury in that time. Kappa, you bloody, you, you damned fool. Lukovic, good save from Musson. The thing about Musson is in the last three appearances he's made for us, he has dropped the ball into the net or had, like, so he went on some ridiculous run of not conceding any goals, although that was mainly because he was playing in cup competitions uh, and a few league games here and there. And then I brought him in for a, a, a little run of games and every game he played he made one howler like we'll let in one long range effort or like when he, he was the goalkeeper when we played Bradford and lost 5-3 and like three of their the, all three of their goals were just ridiculous speculative efforts that you wouldn't really expect to be going in go on Svenk John won he delivery trucks outside sounds fun 88 minutes gone. Well, there we go. That was poor, wasn't it? That was poor. Far from pleased. I mean, we had the chances. We even did. We even did. I see that right that we had more chances even than uh, Spurs. So it's not like we were not creating anything. We're just being. Okay, it's, it's another thing where we've scored 90 goals this season. It feels like we occasionally are a bit blunt up front I'm not sure why that is <laughs> I think it's mainly because Patrick is poor Like so it seems that uh, Rihanna is good it, it is inconsistent as well but he's good at least uh, more regularly than Patrick Patrick is very rarely good so I think we might have to sell Patrick if I can get Andrade this, this uh, oh United lost as well that's good <laughs> Andrade let's just see because it's a new month I never know what that means Nope, only sellers not signed a good new contract, that's good. Spurs in unconvincing win. It's disappointed by our team's performance in the FA Cup. Well, that makes sense, I suppose. But still. I'd like to, it's fun when someone knew wins the FA Cup. Who did we say was in the final? Western Superman and West Ham, so no one knew will win it, but someone someone um, who hasn't won it for a while will be there. 
Western Supermare in their second cup final of two, in two seasons. That's a nice little bit of... Yeah, anyway, that's good for a club of their size. <laughs> um, okay, Gomez, they're still happy with him. I'm not because he doesn't like me anymore. Yeah, why not? Uh, fine. I hate when it says, it tells, uh, I don't know if it does this so much in the newer ones, but in this one, I keep getting the recommendation to train my players in overhead kicks, and they call it finishing training. That should be more like acrobatics training. I mean, it's, it's insane. Also, because I don't think I've ever seen a player do an overhead kick on Football Manager. I don't think I've ever seen it say that. I, I know I've seen, I know I've, I've, for example, I think one of Sam's did it in one of his games, and I've certainly seen other uh, YouTubers have people scoring overhead kicks but it's it's never happened or at least I've never seen a text pop up that says hit an overhead kick uh, which I would have thought it would do because it's a, such a sort of rare thing but I mean they happen fairly regularly like you know every every uh, every year there's one uh, okay gonna look. attacking gonna go. yeah English player's young player of the year. That would be media friendly Millie. Good. Always my players. West Brom versus Chelsea in the big kickoff. 1-1. One, one. What a result. Chelsea finishing 10th this season. That's very poor from them. West Brom beat us earlier on in the season. We have a... Well, drawn with them two two or something like that, but they were they they. I remember there being a particular game with them which was tough, or maybe I'm maybe I'm misremembering. Maybe they just put up a bit of more of a fight than most of the other teams that we've played this summer, this year. Come on, game. Let's process a little faster if we could. That's not. Is that seriously going to be Inter versus and then Swansea? No, it's the reserves. Okay, good. Uh, okay, so he's had a fun time in Bolton. Strange. Uh, but here we go. Here's the most important game of the season now. Until we go through, and then there's another important game. But let's take that as we get as we come to it. Okay, so Yarolim is now fit finally. So Didier Chami is actually going to start instead of him. We're going to put Cosmin Farkash on. Marcel Match is going to come in. And we're going to start with Edgardo Royano. Oop, hello. And we're actually going to put Topic over there with Rosenzweig. Kappa is on 98 fitness, so he will start. Kenny Warns is going to have to deal with things. Okay, let's do this. Oh, no. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Idiot Marcus gets out for Frank Lauritsen. Okay, so here we go then. The semi-final second leg. We are winning on away goals. We just need to keep a clean sheet. And uh, smash into Milan. No problem. No problem. They looked very good in the first... Was it, there wasn't there like a 20 or 30 minute spell where they looked absolutely dominant against us and they should have scored about nine. Uh, but then it seemed weirdly to equal out by the end, even though we didn't really see very much evidence of that during the uh, replays. Uh, so hopefully in this one we can avoid another bombardment and we can, we can uh, put some pressure on them. Because we only scored the one from the sudden... Kappa's finish wasn't it early on Troiano Royano Yahia again in his silly name Flavoni oh my goodness me oh Yaralim ponderous turn in clearance worried me a second 28 minutes gone nothing really going on Martins clears Yahia cleared by Farchas Farkash he would say it, Bernardino, Williams, Topic gets it up to Millie, and now Millie, do we have a chance to break? Mm, we did, but we didn't do it. Riano now, Riano goes past his man. Can he cross the ball in? No, but Chami could, except we know he's not one for a assist. Kenny Warren gets taken out by Javier Nava. 
Martins to Warn. Warn to Martins. Over to Charmy. Charmy to Farkash. Charmy. Charmy. Why can you never cross the ball? Farkash. Stop giving it to... Okay. What? Charmy. He's a, he's a known non-crosser. He's a, he's a deviant for it. Char fucking hell, Charmy, what are you doing? <laughs> Standing with the ball. Farkash to Charmy. Farkash uh, he does finally get a cross in, and it is defended well by Inter, because we've been threatening to do that for about 15 minutes, standing on that wing now, and uh, once we finally do get the cross in, they were ready for us. Kappa to Farkash. Puts it in, but Dominguez clears. Oh, and they're not quite. Shields to Troyano to Charmy again. Warn. Farkash. Rayano goes past his man. Oh. Oh. Me uh, trying to clean my screen and knocking it off again. Oh, my bride. Oh, my bride. Oh, my bride. Come on, mate. Williams to Yahia. Straight into the hands of Lauritsen. Topic. Oh, God. Gets tackled by Riska. They're up for it. That's at least a good thing. It will not be an easy win for us. Free kick given for us. That's a half time whistle. They've got a yellow card just at the end there. Uh, do we have people playing nervously? We do. So I'm going to say assertively. That and then I'm going to say calmly, it's a lot more to come. If Millie looking fired up and playing badly, as he seems to do quite a lot despite getting 31 goals this season. Kappa to Topic. Good cross, nobody was there though. Well, people were there, but nobody was able to get on the end of it. Kappa to Yerolin, Kappa to Topic. To, oh, Toppy went for the cross. Uh, went for the shot. Sorry, uh, we win the corner, and now Martins is going to take it. Martins straight away. McBride at the back post doesn't even seem to challenge for the header. <laughs> um, obviously, I suspect, I suspect he probably did, but it was nothing great. Riano, what on earth he's doing diving into that position? I don't know, but he gives away a foul. Yeah, here. Yeah. Now to Espinola. Espinola manages to have a shot which is deflected wide, and now Topic clears for a throw. It's not going delightfully well. Uh, they are, yeah, they are able to dominate us quite a lot, it seems. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, is the other game going on? No. Charmy clears. We started off like we might be doing something in the beginning of the second half, and then they pushed us back. Oh, here we go. Warn, Kenny Warn, Reggiano. Ah. Oh. And now Flavoni's going to get there. Martins, no, Martins stops him, gives it back, and now we can build an attack from the back. Topic, Kappa does win the ball back there in the midfield. Riano to Warn, Charmy to Warn, Farkash, Riano to Milly. Ah, oh, doesn't quite get there. Yarolin wins the ball back nicely. Topic gives the ball in the middle. Nobody's there. Kappa, Kappa straight down the straight down the throat of Triano. Williams, good save from Lauritsen. Good save from Lauritsen. Now the ball's been put up to McBride. Uh, sorry, to Rihanna. Rihanna, oh Rihanna, but Troyano saves. Farkash to Charmy. Charmy went for the shot. <laughs> no one was expecting it, <laughs> and only on that basis was there any chance that it could have ever gone in. Um, we'll take, make the one change as Topic coming off for Rosenzweig coming on. And there's the potential that we might have to go to extra time, although at the moment it's not looking that likely. Uh, so we will keep things with not too many substitutions yet. Shields now to Yahia. Flavoni hits over the bar. We're living on a dangerous tightrope of emotion, guys. Okay, Lauritsen over to Yarolim. Yarolim up to Rosenzweig. Rosenzweig, Kappa. Millie, Kappa, Rihanna. Rihanna, good save from Troyano. 75 minutes gone. We are going to make a change now. Kenny Warren's looking tired. Martins is going to come up and Serapi is going to take off. We're going to replace Warren. Yaralim is looking tired. And we're all looking tired at this point. 
Bernardinho. It's interesting that we've we've been the top scorers of the league by miles this season, and in the last two videos we've scored one goal. <laughs> uh, far cash to Millie. Millie finishes. Millie finishes, and that should put us through into the Champions League final. Great, finally a finish from Millie. He's not been good all night, but he puts that away. He was in fact he was in fact playing a five point seven when he scored that. Um, what can we do here? We're going to bring on Paez to shore up that defence a little bit more because that's where we need to worry about now. Farkash to Millie. Millie finishes. Beautiful stuff. Lovely ball from Farkash. We don't. We haven't had many chances in this game, but uh, well, okay, we've had a fair few chances actually. Uh, it just hasn't. hasn't I just, it's just they've just been unmemorable. Yeah, here. Oh man. Oh come on. Ah. Uh, you're not giving that straight to Yahia. I mean, it clearly came off whichever player in front of him. Are you bang on and on about a player? Yahia, I mean, it clearly went in off Young. Jung. Oh, fuck. Well, now we have to go to extra time as well. Oh, dear. Well, let's hope we can get a late winner then. <laughs> Yarolin to Martins. Kappa. Kappa went for the shot, but it hit Rayano uh, on the bum, and it's offside. Oh, das ist nicht gut. No, yeah, yeah, no. Lauritsen manages to tip it away, and now we've got the chance to bring it out, but we don't. We decide to kick it up and then do a massive, massive nod on, which nobody was ever going to get on the end of. Four minutes of added time. Corner late on McBride. Oh, that could have been your chance to write yourself into Swindon folklore. Kappa gives it to Rosenzweig. Rosenzweig into Millie. Kappa. Martins. Paez. Big ball in from Paez to Rosenzweig at the back post, but he doesn't get there. McBride to Martins. Farkash! Farkash has scored! Come on! What an absolute stunner. His 10th of the season, 93 minutes and 30 seconds to send us through to the Champions League final. Come on! Cosmin Farkash smashes it first time into the top. Oh, beautiful stuff. How have we done that? <laughs> oh, Swindon are through to the final of the Champions League. <laughs> You've done it, boys. Congratulations. I love you, Cosmin Farkash, you absolute beast. Oh, man. I think we're probably going to be playing Porto as well, which might be bad. Oh, wow. <laughs> Three... Two on aggregate. 3.65 million for winning in the semi final. Oh man. Okay, I'm going to attend that press conference. It's a brilliant feeling. Fantastic chance. Cosmin was outstanding. What a day. Um, I'm going to just click on so that we can, because I think the next game of the Champions League should be played on the 5th. So we'll see if we can find our next opponents. And then I need to go and get... Oh, yeah, here we go. So it's Porto winning 2-1 from their first leg. Let's just see. I think we'd probably like Porto more. Do you, I'm honestly not sure. Okay, well, we got Barcelona. <laughs> but we did beat them in the last couple of games, didn't we? Millie has got the most goals for a season for us. Um, Chabot's doing well. Barcelona, good. Okay, so that means, does it, can I go to the fixtures and see that we have to... Oh, it hasn't registered yet, okay. I want to see the uh, past meetings between us, because I'm pretty sure we won our only games against them, both of them in the Champions League group stages last season. Was that not... Is that not the case? And Is that the only time we've ever played them? Okay, it's not coming up. And I don't want Carl Bunn, so fuck off. Right, so I'll see you for the Champions League final in the next video then, guys. See you later. Bye.